Mic check. Hello, everybody. I hope we're all doing well. I hope we're all comfortable chilling at home. I decided to make another uh, New Jeans song ranking, mainly because we have four new songs this year. Uh, there's actually two I didn't even add on my last list. And on top of that, a lot has changed, even from the last list to this one, not including the new songs. So I thought fitting time to make another list, maybe go a little more in depth. Um, I feel like this is just a better overall slideshow, a little more effort put into it. Yeah, I've been bumping Supernatural. So that's on this list. I'm not gonna spoil where, but it's not low. It's got me listening to a lot of New Jack Swing, Bobby Brown. But with all that being said, let me go ahead and make my face cam a little bit smaller. Let's put me on the side of the screen, right? Yeah, that looks good. All right, so nothing else needs to be said. What is my least favorite New Jeans song? We're going to go with Get Up. Uh, this is bottom, not really for any actual musical or artistical reason. Uh, it's 36 seconds. It's an interlude. I don't really listen to it much. It's nice for what it is. Uh, I was kind of contemplating not even putting it on here because I don't know if it counts. But yeah, easy cop out for my least favorite. And I still like it. Like, it's good. The vocals are beautiful. Got a little trappy instrumental. It's nice. It's nice. What more can I say? That's why I added this dude. Like, what do you want me to do? But yeah, that's my least favorite. So now on to the actual full songs. We got gods. Uh, I did do a reaction to this and then the audio fucked up. So I did not upload it. But to me, this song, it's pretty generic. Uh, I don't dislike it. Like, I think it's a decent song. It's just for new gene standards. You know, the bar is set very high. And when you have so many great songs in your discography, uh, songs like gods, in my opinion, end up lower. Uh, very EDM-ish, uh, future bassy, future bassish, future bassish. I said, which is an EDM genre. I really enjoyed the live performance when I did watch it, even though there's no v video proof of me watching it, unfortunately. Uh, I did find it funny, the League of Legends players standing there awkwardly. I mentioned that on my last ranking video too, but I just had to reiterate how funny it was. Animated music video is cool too. I checked that out. It's nice. It's good. It's fine. We got a League of Legends player here. Yeah. What is next? We got Zero, a big Coke ad, which as I've written here, uh, I'm fine with. I fuck with their Coke sponsorship. Like, I think that's cool. I love Coke too. I would be sponsored by Coke if I was ever given that opportunity. I think the dance is great. Uh, I watched their performance with Jid where they're in that like warehouse. That was the one I reacted to. I actually prefer the Jid one to the original. Uh, the instrumental, I think in the original has a little bit less going on. Whereas like the chorus of the Jid version for some reason, like I don't know, they added more synths or something, but I like it. And the Coca-Cola Mashita. Uh, or whatever the word is, as I wrote here, is very catchy. I'm pretty sure it literally just means Coca-Cola tastes good, right? Something like that, which honestly makes it even funnier that it's that stupid. But I don't mind the song at all. It's fine. It just doesn't stack up well to the rest of their discography. All right, now we got Attention, their debut song. Very R&B-ish, smooth chorus, very catchy. Even though it's not one of my favorites, it's definitely one of the ones that gets stuck in my head. The attention, attention, whatever. However, they sing it. They sing it better than me. I like the counting to the one, the two, the ba da 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 It's catchy. The verses are very hip hoppy. They're kind of rapping, which I like. I think that's cool. They don't rap much, but uh, when they do, it's cool. I just don't come back to it much. Uh, not one of my favorites. I don't mind it though. I'm just not a huge fan of like super R&B sound. Next up, we have ASAP. ASAP, as soon as possible. I prefaced it by saying if this was the 2023 MMA remix, the one I reacted to last week, it might be like top five, top three maybe. I mean, that remix is so good, but it's not. Their official version is not that, unfortunately. But this one, I do enjoy this one. It's on my playlist. It's very experimental, kind of sounds spacey. The tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick I don't know why I felt the need to write that down, but I did. Uh, I wrote really like the weird synths at the end. Um, I think I'm talking about the, when she goes, just for a minute and then, uh, 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 whatever those sounds are. I like them. But yeah, not much to say about ASAP. It's good for what it is. I almost think of it as an interlude in my head, even though it's the length of a normal song. Next up, we have Ditto, which is extremely popular. I know this would be higher for most people, but for me, it's just not a song I come back to much. Um, 
I literally wrote, I don't know why, because it's good. Uh, it's got those R&B chords, but a little bit more upbeat drums. I don't really know how to explain it. The two part music videos are great. You know, they're in school and then it's kind of deep. It's got like a good storyline. They've got a couple videos like that. And I think we're getting that with Supernatural. Uh, whenever that one comes out, I think Friday. I wrote owl sound. I think that's referring to, ooh, 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 but in the right key. I don't know why I felt the need to write that down. All right, enough said about Ditto. Now we got Hype Boy. Very unique production on this one. It's got that weird sample chop. I called it a sample chop. I don't know if it's actually a sample, but it's definitely a chop. And uh, I like it for what it is. It's weird though. Transition to the chorus that it almost sounds out of place, but I like it. It's got those multiple video versions. I reacted to the Minji one, of course. And the one thing that stands out about this one is I think I much prefer the verses to the chorus. Not that I dislike the right. Like that's good, but I just really like what they're doing in the verses. Also another one I don't listen to as often. All right, now we got Hurt. I really like this song. Uh, it's very relaxing to me. Um, it's kind of a switch up or a change up as I wrote here from all the other songs on their debut EP. Soothing, everything from the music video to the instrumental, like it's, I don't know, it just kind of puts you in a relaxed state, which I like when you have uh, something unique like that in your discography. Very smooth vocals, slow beat, but I don't know, hypnotizing almost. You just want to like watch it and hear it. Great music analysis from me right there. I said odd in a good way. Couldn't agree more with myself. What's up next though? We have Super Shy, which I believe is their most popular song. Um, it was the first song I listened to actually too. I searched K-pop and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a reaction video to this one. Let's see how it goes. And now we're here. Now I'm a fan, which I think is so cool. Uh, oh yeah, I wrote that at the bottom actually. Drum and bass type shit. Uh, I wrote fun music video, fun dancing. Danielle's got the Press Virginia basketball shirt, which I still to this day find a little interesting, but I mean, you could have worn like a Dallas Cowboys, like Heron the other day. You could have worn a Mavericks, could have worn a Rangers, could have worn a Stars, but whatever. It's all good. I see why it's very popular, but I just personally, for my own taste, I don't come back to it much. Um, maybe there's something wrong with me. I don't know, but I do enjoy it. Like there's no question, it's a great song. Next up. Bubblegum. This is the first 2024 song. And it's actually, according to this list, even though I really like it, my least favorite 2024 song. Super fun and bubbly, no pun intended, with the bubblegum. I think I said this in the title of my reaction video, like Song of the Summer, right? Still get Dua Lipa vibes too from the instrumental, which is a good thing. They filmed it on that Korean island, which I looked it up. It was like south of the mainland. And I, I don't want to go there one day now because of this video. So shout out bubblegum video. And I, I also wrote that it was uh, very close between this one and the next one. What was the next one? It was ETA, estimated time of arrival, as I like to call it. Another one that grew on me a lot. I remember in my reaction video, I actually didn't like it that much. I mean, I thought it was like objectively fine, but it was just not my cup of tea. And now it definitely is. They got the repetitive horn sound. That's what I found kind of jarring at the start. And now I think it's a great part of the beat. Very hard hitting drums. The mm hmm what's your ETA? I mean, so catchy. The music video with the dancing where they switch between settings, but they're doing the same dance and it transitions smoothly. I love shit like that. Uh, I do wish it wasn't shot on iPhone because I know that was the whole point of the video. Like it was a promo for iPhone, but it does look shittier than all their other videos. If we're talking video quality, I know I'm one to talk about camera quality, right? But yeah, nonetheless, great song, great video, great everything. What's up next? Ah, right now. This is uh, one that came out, what, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago? Great drum and bass track, super straight to the point. Uh, the only criticism, as I said, is a tad bit repetitive, even though I know that's the point. It's just like, you know, not much builds up, but I really love the vibe. I'm a big drum and bass fan. Every time I hear it, I like it. Music video was fun. Um, it was Hani texting a crush and like Minji telling her to say all these things or something. I don't know. When I first did my reaction, I was just like, glued to the lyrics for some reason, even though I don't think anything super deep was said. But yeah, vocals sound great with the beat, super fun, fast paced, catchy as fuck, as I wrote there. Right now, right now. I mean, nothing to complain about. And now we got New Jeans, not the group, the actual song called New Jeans, uh, which I feel is a very similar vibe to right now, which is why I have them so close to each other. And not just because of the Powerpuff Girl stuff, although that does help uh, kind of associate them together in my brain. UK Garage, a genre I have found myself really enjoying, especially ever since doing New Jeans. One criticism, way too short. I said this in the last one too, like this shit's like, what, a minute and a half? Like, come on, way too short. Easily one of my favorite music videos though. The editing is insane and it's just 
all these things jumping from one to another with the Powerpuff Girls and into real life. Then we get a meta camera angle of the editor editing the video in the video. It's cool. It goes along with the song great. And the kicks hit really hard in this one. Something I always appreciate. I'm a kick guy. Up next, we have Cool With You, which was the song that got me into New Jeans, basically. Uh, I first heard Super Shy. And then I was suggested Cool With You, and I was like, oh, shit, there's really something to these girls. There's really something to this group, and maybe I should check out more. Uh, so I credit Cool With You with that. The two-part music video, really deep. Maybe the most interesting um, set of music videos, if we're talking, you know, cinematic-wise. The boots, cats, boots, cats, boots, cats, beat, or boots and cats, as I uh, wrote there. Very smooth vocals, the ooh, 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 ooh. I'm not even gonna attempt it. Catchy, mellow vibe, kind of chill. And it feels very underrated. I don't I don't see, uh, doesn't have the same views as a lot of other videos, but great song, great song. And they got that actor. Uh, I can't remember her name, but she was really good. Up next, we have OMG. If y'all watched my last ranking video, you're probably surprised. Wait, this was your favorite. Now it's fourth. Yeah, and it's still one of my favorites easily. It's got so many switch-ups in the instrumental. The pre-chorus, the, you tell me who is he, right? or whatever they say, and then into the chorus. Extremely catchy. It switches from like a trap instrumental to drum and bass, I think, to like something something else. It's so good. Super popular for a reason. It is one of their biggest songs. And the music video is great where they're in a mental institution. I said mental institution type shit. I don't know. I don't know why, what I was doing when I wrote this. Up next, what is number three? What is my third favorite New Jeans song? Keep in mind, these are subject to change. We got Supernatural, the one that came out on Friday. Still not sure if I want to put this higher because it did just come out and I have to like give it time to sit, but I love this song. This song is fantastic. Insanely catchy, great music video. Got that New Jack swing, another genre I didn't know much about, but I'm into now. Listen to a lot of that Bobby Brown. <laughs> We got part two coming, I believe Friday, right? Have that to look forward to. I will be doing a video on that. This video is great. This song is great. Insanely catchy. I said bubblegum was song this summer, but I feel like this probably takes the cake uh, if we're talking about their 2024 discography. Yeah, great song. Could easily be number two or number one. I just have to give it time to, to sit. Anyway, what is number two? We got Cookie. Controversial, right? Controversial. And rightfully so. They should not have been singing those lyrics when they were like 14 and 16 and 17. I don't know what they were thinking, the label executives or whatever, whoever set that up, kind of crazy. But I like to block that part out because it's mostly in Korean anyway. Thankfully, when it comes to this context, I know no Korean except like Anyang Haseo. Uh, and I don't believe they say hello in the song. So we dodge a bullet there. This for my music taste is just so good. It's got an incredible instrumental. The music video is extremely captivating when it comes to the lighting changes, dancing, like everything just, they're in a big warehouse. It, like the beat is minimalist, the music video is minimalist, and yet it's so perfect. And if you are someone that hates this song because of the context, if you can try to ignore the context, I know that's hard. And if you can't, fair enough. But as a work of art, minus the lyrics, I love this song and it is probably to this date my most played New Jeans song on Spotify. Now that could change because some songs have come out in 2024, but um, yeah, I've played this song a ton and it's probably, it might end up in my top five in Spotify wrapped. Anyway, what is number one? It's How Sweet, 2024 song. My current number one out of all of their discography. I played this constantly since it came out. Every day, multiple times a day, on the way to work, on the way back from work, on the way to the gym, on the way to the grocery store. I think it's just perfect in every way. Music video, song, filmed in Taiwan. I think that's cool. It's got this Coke sponsorship again, which I fuck with. I think that's cool. Make that Coke money, why not? The instrumental hits hard. Whenever the dog is at the start of that video, like sniffing around and then the kicks come in, it's just perfect. There's even a little cowbell thing. I felt the need to write this down. I don't know if it's a cowbell, but like that thing right before the chorus going into the chorus, the dun dun da, 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 da. and like just that little thing. I don't know, you either know or you don't. I'm not gonna go into detail, but I feel like that makes the song so much better, even though it's such a small detail. I mean, even the cover art, like that just looks so cool. The font and the picture, it was for How Sweet and Bubblegum, but like I used it for this slide. I just think that's so cool. But yeah, that is my updated list. I'm pretty sure I got every song that I've heard. Imagine I just like missed a song. That would be embarrassing, but I don't think I did. Please let me know what you think of my list and put your own list in the comments because New Jeans are one of those groups where you could have the opposite list of me and I'd be like, you know what? I see it. I respect it. Like that's, I get it. 
because they don't they really don't have a bad song i say that all the time and i believe it but yeah thank you for watching hopefully my face didn't cover up any of the points that's all i have to say uh, i hope you enjoyed my updated new jeans songs list